Hi everyone, welcome to Tea with June. My name's June, my pronouns are they, them, and let's get talking about tea. Today we're going to go over my um, February Sips My box. Um, I, uh, I have drank, I've tried two of these teas so far. Um, and so I'll be able to talk a little bit about them. And the other two I haven't tried yet. So um, this is the little February thing. So in this box, the first one is me cacao. It's um. It's just cacao shells and cacao nibs. Um, I was actually really happy to see this because I had been wanting to try um, something like this for quite some time. It was less chocolatey than I thought it would be, less cocoa-y. Um, but it was still good. I did end up sweetening it a little with some Splenda. And, um, because I wasn't sure at first. I think probably I needed to maybe brew it longer. Um, or use more at once. In the end, it still tasted good. So I think it would probably just be better if I used a little more than I called for. Um, I have a really big cup. And I usually try to double on it, but sometimes that's still, that's still not enough. Um, yeah, so the description for this one though is cacao tea. Um, it's caffeine free. This cacao tea is light with a hint of chocolate. Cacao helps your body release endorphins producing sorry providing an instant mood boost for perfect for attracting love from the universe um so there's that one and then the other one i tried was matcha love um this is japanese matcha and lemon verbena and peppermint now on the back it tells you how to make it and I don't know if you can see this. Um, I'm trying to look at the screen. Okay, so only 30 seconds. It's a little tea bag. Um, and it also says excess powder that's in the bag, in this, um, dump in for, into your drink for flavor. Um, so, and it suggests, um, Lightly shaking the bag while steeping it so that you get more flavor. 30 seconds was definitely enough. Um, I did try it warm. I'm going to try the next cup, I think, iced. Sorry, that's Parker. Um, I think I'm going to try the next cup iced. And I, I did end up adding some sweetener to this. Um... It really helped pull out some of the lemon ver uh, verbena flavors. I don't think that I would automatically, if I didn't already know, sorry if you can hear the kids in the background. Um, I think if I did not already know that I would not immediately think, oh, peppermint. But knowing, I can definitely taste it. Um, I'm considering picking some up, actually. It's pretty good. And I'm not like, like, I know there's a good number of tea tubers or tea vloggers who do a lot of matcha. That's not normally me. Um, part of that is just price. Part of it is I just haven't. Um... So it's not like I'm a, oh yes, it's matcha, blah, 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 
So, but I think that's part of why I've considered picking this up. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately. So I would either have to shop from direct from the company and pay shipping or um, get a couple of things from Amazon that would, the cost, the cost would be about similar. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm going to read about, so the matcha lemon verbena mint sips, uh, it sips by matcha love, medium caffeine, discover the rich, smooth and sweet umami taste of matcha with notes of lemon and mint. Matcha is rich in antioxidants and vitamin C and gives a natural calm energy boost. Um, I think that I could get used to drinking this unsweetened um, over time. So, okay. So now on to the Ahmad tea, oops, Ahmad tea apricot surprise. Um, this is the one I have not tried. Now, I've, I think I've had a couple, maybe just one other tea from them. Um, I know that they are associated with the British family somehow, um, British royal family. Um, um. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. Hold on, I got a, my cat. He's being kind of a whiner and I'm gonna let him out. Can you say hi, Parker? Yeah. It doesn't really say much about the tea itself. This is a, on the bag it does say, uh, okay. Sorry, I keep looking, like, having a hard time. It's kind of overcast outside today. Uh, I know, like, half of the U.S. is covered in snow. My family, um, my mom and my sisters live in the extended Seattle area. And, um, they don't normally get snow. That's... That's where I spent a good chunk of my life. There's n normally not snow there. Um, the ocean, the way it is, it just tends to keep that from happening. But um, my aunt, oh, sorry, my hair is doing weird things. Um, my aunt said she had seven inches. And someone I know said they had eight um, which sounds more like my life in Indiana than my life in Seattle. Um, but that's not what we got here. It's 79 today. So, um, but it is overcast. And um, so it's kind of affecting the way the light is. Plus, there were some boxes put in my room. And so, anyway, there's shadow. It's making it hard to read. I also, I need new glasses. That'll probably be done with tax money. So, uh, until then, I'm kind of like, ah. Um, it says, Apricot Sunrise. The vibrant flavor of apricots gives a playful life to this quality blend of black tea. Feel the joy. Feel the joy of the sunrise as you sip this uplifting and revitalizing tea. That's that one. Um, they gave me several of these, and so I'll have to try them soon. Um, and then the last one is cookie tea. It's a almond cookie. So I'm trying to think. Somebody, I think somebody had this in their sip spy as well. This recently. Um, Anyway, um, 
this one is, let's see. So it is a black tea. And it says, this almond cookie black blend combines traditional black tea with the decadence of almond for an indulgent cup. Add your favorite milk for a delicious cookie tea latte. You know, I, I really appreciate when a company suggests how to prep their tea, right? Because sometimes you see a tea and you're like, oh, this is going to be great on its own and it really needed milk to pull out some flavor or a little bit of sugar or sweetener um, or like this should definitely not have milk. Um, this, this tea is full of hibiscus and if you put milk in it, then you will be eating your milk. But um, this one, they said, you know, try it as a tea latte. Um, really looking forward to this. Um, might have a idea of a snack I want to have with it. So we'll see. Um, but looking forward to this one. So that is my February Sips by Box. Um, again, I really enjoy this. Um, subscription. It also makes it so that I can try a lot of different teas. I have, I have rambunctious children. <laughs> um, it makes it so you can try a lot of different teas without having to pay a ton of money and trying to find a sample. It's sent right to you. Um, I also like that I can go in and rate my teas afterwards because most subscriptions, that's not the case. It's just, you know, this is the tea and so, and I, I mean, when you look, if you see, uh, um, and you see other boxes, like if you watch other tea tubers or tea vloggers, um, you see that they're different, right? Like some people get things that others don't. Um, I like that you can customize it. So yeah, I want a bunch of tea bags or I don't want any. Um, I don't want any of this specific thing. So anyway, um, Lots of my sips by for February. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Talk to you later.